Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com, and here's a quick video on how to reset your iPhone 7. It's free and easy, so let's go ahead and get started. By powering off your iPhone 7, if it's powered on, and whatever is on the display, the Apple logo or hello, or in some cases it will say the iPhone 7 has been disabled, and connect to iTunes. So let's go ahead and power this um, iPhone 7 down and we'll press the power button on the right hand side here and once we do we'll go ahead and slide here and wait a few seconds and the phone will be powered down. Then go over to your Apple computer or your Windows computer in this case it's Windows 10 and open up iTunes. Once you have iTunes open Let's go back to our iPhone 7 where we will be using two buttons on the iPhone. On the left hand side the volume down button and on the right hand side we will be using the power button. Now let's go ahead and make sure I want to mention be sure that the phone is powered off and then grab your USB plug that came with your iPhone 7 and one end goes into a USB port on your um, laptop computer or your Apple computer and then plug the lightning um, plug into the iPhone but before you do that be sure to press the volume down button and then plug the lightning cable into your iPhone and then push the power button, let it go, you see the Apple logo, and then you will see iTunes um, logo there, and you will see the um, a little connection uh, cable there. Alright, at this point, let's go over to our um, laptop. And in my case, I was presented with a prompt within iTunes that says there is a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be updated or restore. And I have three choices, cancel, update, or restore. Now, obviously, if you click on cancel, nothing happens and you're right back where you were. Um, so you need to either update or restore. And when you choose one or the other, um, you can go ahead and start using your phone again. Now, keep in mind, this process is great for, you know, if your phone is freezing or not working properly, or if you get a message on your iPhone that says iPhone is disabled, connect to iTunes because you have forgotten your password. Okay, we have come to the end of this video. I hope that you found this video helpful. Please subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.